Okay, moving right along. It's time for a council initiated discussion. And again, for the new council members, uh, everything that's happened thus far has been determined by NHGRI. We've set the agenda. Uh, at this point, we're sort of turning the microphones back towards the council, uh, asking you, are there reports that you want to hear from, from us at future council meetings? Or since you are representatives of the research community, are there issues that you hear, uh, maybe nascent issues, maybe things that are about to boil over or explode, that you want to bring to our attention? So it could be a discussion right now, or it can be a request for us to uh, do a little research, uh, perhaps even bring in outside speakers to uh, address the concern that you may have. Carol. So uh, Eric, in your overview, you talked a little bit about um, the, the data science strategic plan and the fact that there are currently ongoing discussions across NIH about the, the implementation. Um, is there a time frame for those discussions? Can you say a little bit more on where they are and, and what the plans are for rolling out potentially new mechanisms of funding based on that strategic plan? Uh, yeah, if, 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 I, I don't know all the details. I'm looking at others to, to see if they have. Here's what we do know is that um, it's, uh, Congress is asking us to regularly update them. So it's not even just us dealing with us. This is actually, so this is a plan they requested and then they want regular updates. I forgot the frequency of them, but it's, I think it's fairly frequent. Um, the, uh, there's, you, you made a statement at the end um, as if uh, there's gonna be new f funding and blah, blah, blah. I mean, that, that might be an outcome out of this, but that's not, an, that's not an, a guarantee. Um, all that's, all that's when I, this, this implementation plan is very much geared towards making sure that this strategic plan is not just a, something that's out there that doesn't sort of carry much weight, doesn't do much, is just sort of a feel-good document. And so the idea is, and, and, and there literally are meetings going on, I think actually I just missed one this morning because I'm here, um, where they're trying to go literally component by component of the strategic plan and sort of, and, and, and detail um, what's already happening, because a lot of stuff's already happening, but also to try to coordinate it and then try to find gaps and then try to come up with a plan of what, how are we going to achieve that there's, there's nothing ongoing now. So a, a, a lot of this is very much about just trying to get a better, um, understanding about what's happening and better coordinating it as, as one broad framework. But I don't want to overpromise to lead you to believe there's going to be a series of FOAs or anything in like that. I just think there's going to be a, a much better understanding about all the moving parts of data science at NIH. It was one of the, man, the, the grand ideas behind a strategic plan. I don't, Valentina, do you want to add to that? Your, yeah, um, so what is happening right now is that there are uh, a number of working groups, uh, various program officers across the NIH are coming together to try to handle every one of the objectives in the a strategic plan and come up with some implementation, concrete in implementation steps to take uh, with proposal for timelines and milestones and so on. So. This is happening as we speak right now. Uh, I think the plan is, the general plan is to bring back these proposals from across NIH back to the Scientific Data Council sometime in the middle of October. I think that uh, the SDC is supposed to deliver to Congress the concrete steps, whatever they decide to do, uh, later in October. Um, and, and then we'll take it from there. Great, thank you. C can you remind me who's on the Scientific Data Council? Uh, besides me, uh, so it's, uh, I don't know if I got to quickly, you can quickly pull up. So John Lorch and Steve Katz co-chair it. It has people like Patty Brennan, the Patty head, head of NLM, Jim Anderson, head of the Common Fund and other things. Um, myself, who else is on there? Um, um, uh, oh, Andrea McGowan. Norris, who's the head of the Center for Information Technology. J.J. McGowan. J.J. McGowan NID. is yeah. executive director of NIAID. I think it's all, I'm sure it's public. I mean, I should probably could Google it and find the roster. I think that's most of the people. I'm, I know I'm f forgetting a couple. Somebody from NCI, for, is it Tony Karlovich, I think, from NCI? Okay. As a, who did I miss? Don't, don't do it that way. 
Oh yeah. Who who else is on? Yeah, who else is on there? <laughs> I'm I'm, I'm let's just go down from the top. So co-chaired by John Lorsch and Steve Katz, members Jim Anderson, Patty Brennan, Eric Dishman, Dishman. all of us. Just got Renee, added. you said that better than I would. Etch Etchbaragare. I don't know. Michael Gottesman, Jill uh, Heemskirk awesome. from NIBIB, Alan Koretsky from NINDS, Anthony Kurlovaj from Kurlovaj. NCI. Yeah. Mike Lauer from Extramural, JJ McGowan from NIAID, Andrea Norris from CIT, Jim Ostell from um, NCBI, and Belinda Cito. Um, um, oh, Belinda, so. right. Yeah, I did pretty well, but not perfect by any means. And a few of those just got added recently, by the way. <laughs> not that I'm making an excuse, but they, <laughs> that wasn't the purpose of saying that. There was a recognition that just about three or four months ago that there were some major blind spots on the committee, and so they got added because we just kept talking about those programs of those areas, and so we added more people. Who was, who was Raphael. Oh, Raphael. So I have a suggestion for the data commons, in, and it's that you let us test it out as early as possible uh, before making too many final decisions. The NIH data commons, the pilot, have it be tested out before it's by, by decisions, what do you mean decisions? The decisions about how, how you the infra uh, computational infrastructure, how how are you going to permit people to access data? What what things are going to be permitted to be done on the commons? I mean, it, right now we have so few details that it really is hard to to know. So we keep getting data questions. We're going to make Valentina just stay at a microphone. <laughs> um. Yes, you, you're absolutely right. Uh, so as I mentioned, we basically phase one of this pilot is ending. Um, and I, I can guarantee to you there is really not much to test yet. Uh, so, uh, but uh, the, the fact that, so basically one of the key deliverables of the data commons is to create you know, best practices, standards that the community can use. Um, we're fully aware that before we solidify anything, there has to be a time for the rest of the community to test out many of the things that are being worked on. So absolutely. But just want to guarantee to you, you're not missing anything for the moment. Is, yeah. Okay. Sharon. And then Wendy. Uh, and I may have missed this because I didn't hear all of the May um, Council, but there obviously is an increasing emphasis on the functional variation, the supplements, and it might be good at a subsequent meeting to hear something about the results of, of some of, because some of that was short-term funding, um, you know, so maybe the May Council or, or even a year from now, it'd be nice to hear the, the outcomes of that, yeah. the supplements. Yeah. We, we can do that. I don't know if we want to make a comment. I mean, that, that we, we no, certainly want to do that. It's, of course, leading into a big, a, a more formalized program. So, I mean. Right. I just wanted to get that topic on the agenda sure. for a subsequent meeting since there's okay. supplements now and then there is going to be a bigger program. Yeah, yeah. So. I think it'll feed into all sorts of things that we're doing. And sure. Um, for another council meeting, it would be helpful to know, um, have a wrap up in terms of insight, the sequencing of newborns. I think if I heard correctly, that's coming to a close and just understand lessons learned because it sounds like the recommendation from that is coming out not to sequence newborns. Uh, just understanding, like I said, what we can learn from that and apply to, to future opportunities. Five second rule. Okay, thank you very much. Let's uh, move along. If, if something else comes to mind, you can shoot me an email. Can I, can I, actually, yeah. I think that we're not going to come back to this. Um, you, you sort of implied it, but let me just ask directly are there um, particular, for future council meetings, either February or May, are there particular speakers you'd like to hear from? We, don't, we, we have some ideas. I don't want to name them because we haven't invited them, but I mean, we have some ideas. But if, do, are there any folks at NIH or, that, or otherwise that you would like us to bring to a council meeting? 
you won't be here, but no, be here. I'll still, still, right, still suggest still, one. You could, but you can come in by way. <laughs> and you should, you should ask. Uh, we're talking about that GRSS and 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 that website. You should get Sake to come down and oh. explain. Apologize on our first course. Yeah. Explain what he's up to and and where they're headed. Yeah. Okay. Sake, come to you soon. Anybody at NIH in particular people are interested in hearing from or elsewhere in the government axis? Okay, we have some ideas. But. All right, thank you very much. Well, All right, Dan, you, go ahead. You can, I mean, if, you, if you're going to have people present their science who are sort of, uh, as opposed to hearing from institute directors, which is sort of the usual, you could also have someone talk about you know, the future for high throughput functional genomics, and there's at least one person sitting around this table who could do that. Jay. <laughs> so I mean, I just because I think that is that is something that the strategic plan will want to think about, and something that um, is coming, and, and and the world needs. Okay. So uh, we're in the home stretch here for the open session. Uh, I'll draw your attention to, we don't have it posted yet, but we will soon, a, a report from the American Society of Human Genetics uh, on their uh, activities since the last council meeting. Uh, and if we receive any other reports from the uh, liaison societies, we will post them on the council webpage. <coughs> 